Okay. Let's do this. Uh, David Cummings, Did Man Create God? It may also be considered as simply the absence of belief. He's talking about atheism, but he says it also may be considered about as an absence of belief. Absence of belief. So it doesn't have it. So you could probably apply that to an inanimate object because it's got an absence of belief. Uh, James Marlin, a uh, uh, YouTuber, uh, one of the people who responded to Bionic Dance in a video, labeled his video, Atheists are not theists, they're not toasters too. Now, that's incorrect in a way. Now, he's saying human are people uh, that are atheists are not theists, they're not toasters too. Because obviously, I'm an atheist and I'm not a toaster. You're an atheist and you're not a toaster. I'm an atheist and I'm not you. So that doesn't make any sense just to say that. Toasters, however, are not theists, but they're not a, but they're not theists, so I'll get back into that in a little bit. Daniel Dennett, Darwin's Dangerous Idea. I'm just quoting what you're quoting. What both groups share, in spite of differences, is their deepest creed. Uh, I'm sorry, my hand's shaking here. I can't help it. Setting it up like that. Um, their deepest creed is conviction that life does, does have meaning, that goodness matters. Now, so the, the definition of atheist, atheist means that the, the person that goodness matters to them. So say there's an atheist that, that you would define as an atheist that goodness doesn't matter to them. Do you no longer define them as an atheist? Is this a no true atheist fallacy? I know it's, it's silly to say that, but do you, I'm sure you can see where I'm getting at here. So, but yeah, goodness matters to us as humans, but we're also atheists. Uh, it's, so we're trying to explain to theists, more specifically Christians or the main theists, that, that we're still human, just like they are. We just don't have irrational beliefs, but as an atheist, more specifically, a specific irrational belief. Now granted, you would I, you would assume all atheists are like this, but that's not the definition of atheist and that's how not everybody applies it. That's not how everybody applies it. Let's put it that way. Because I said it incorrectly. Anyway, Daniel Dennett. Breaking the spell. Modern theism might acknowledge that when it comes to Ball and all those other gods that you listed, they are actually atheists. We're all atheists about most of the gods that humanity has ever believed in. How do you know? Maybe one of them is valid. But you don't have to know about the god to not believe in it. Now, you're adding to the definition of theist, or theism more specifically, what signifies a god, which I totally agree with, that obviously if, if somebody's labeling the earth as a god or something that's natural as a god, then they're redefining or they're defining something that we wouldn't consider a god. So we're uh, superimposing, huh? that's not the word, we're, we're defining theism and theist as opposed to atheist. So, we don't have to know about those gods, because we have defined what gods are. And so we can argue over how to define, a the, uh, how to define theism and, and stuff like that. Uh, atheism, the case against God George Smith, implicit atheism, and he specifically points out a lack of comprehension, which 
that's what we agree uh, disagree on or something that's one point that we disagree on so if the person has comprehension or they have the ability to comprehension then then we can call them an atheist now does that make any i'm sorry does by strict definition atheism is a which is latin no i'm sorry the other way a is the greek theist theism thea theos whatever is greek as well non is latin there we go non is latin a is greek and it's a greek word so atheist naturally came before greek to greek non-theism non-theist came later which is a hybrid word they mean the same thing atheist is a a is we define it as not or without but it's a negation and non is not strictly not at least i think it's strictly not maybe it's a negation also but it's they're two separate languages we're putting together so making a hybrid word and but they mean the same thing so can you say a baby is a non-theist and maybe you would argue it can't be especially since i saw in one place they they still identified a non-theist as somebody who rejects god they did point out the first uh, uh definition then they went and said rejects so that's changing also apparently since when did it ever mean that it that somebody that rejects god and now it does so as far as negativity toward a specific word or not i i consider that invalid as far as the definition goes now can we apply it to somebody that didn't know and but because we know what the definition means or not, we disagree what the definition means but we know what the definition means can we apply it to somebody that's never heard of the definition uh first off atheists weren't around until theists were around now the reason they weren't around was cuz theists weren't around the the word probably wasn't even existed or didn't apply so of course they weren't around but but now that they are now that we have a basis to set it now that we know what they mean we can apply it to people beforehand maybe there were theists they didn't describe themselves as theists because they didn't know the word maybe there weren't theists maybe they just didn't know anything about gods we can still apply it we can apply it because we know the definition of the word if we can define them as a theist or not a theist we can define them according to the words that we have set if we don't have enough information about the person we're agnostic toward them we might label them as agnostic because we don't know but it's us we're agnostic toward what they are if they never say a single thing about gods and every time they're approached about gods they ignore the question or they don't talk about it we don't know we absolutely don't know it's easy to apply to us hence you're uh uh talking about yourself here are uh, not yourself now when you were younger when i was 10 i didn't consider myself a- atheist even though i rejected the idea that god existed when i was 7 I didn't know what atheism was back then. I or back then I was not an atheist or I wrote it too close together. Back then I was not a theist or an atheist. I just didn't know what atheism was. But now I know when I was at 7 I was an atheist. So it's fair to you to label somebody that didn't know yourself that didn't know what an atheist was. So you're labeling somebody your your past self as an atheist. So if you tell somebody you were an atheist at 7, you are labeling somebody an atheist 
that wasn't labeling themselves as an atheist at the time. So it doesn't matter that the person knows what the name means. It matters to them because they can't label themselves as that. But otherwise, you're going to have to start labeling yourself as an atheist when you learned what an atheist was. So do you, do you get what I'm, where I'm going with this? Maybe, maybe I'm not explaining it correctly. Anyway, now I, when I became an atheist, I, wasn't a, I, I didn't know the word for a long, long time. And I got introduced to it through a few Christians, through a few theists. And uh, the first time I, I, re I rejected the notion outright, I did not want to be called that. I, I don't think I've heard it before, but something in the way that they said it, you know, they, they didn't say it negatively, but it seemed kind of negative. I didn't want the title. I didn't want the title. And then later on, the maybe the second time, I started calling myself that anyway, because it seemed to fit. And then later on, other atheists confirm it. And I'm glad they called me that, because I was able to track down other people. Okay. But I can apply that definition to myself in the past. Because I know exactly when I stopped believing, so I can apply that definition. So here, blah. I'm an atheist. Now, if we don't know about the person, us, we know, we know explicitly, so we can define exactly when that happened. Sometimes we can't define exactly, exactly, but we can define uh, around the point that that happened. And obviously we can do it now, or, or it's easier to do it now anyway. So. So it's, it's kind of a relative thing. I can define someone as that that doesn't know. It's like non-scientist. Non-scientist, not scientist, not a scientist. A non-scientist is not a scientist. Can you label a baby as a non-scientist? I would hope you can. Can you label somebody that doesn't know what scientist means as a non-scientist, even if they have the ability to become one, if they're not falling under the definition, can you label them as a non-scientist? If they don't know what it means, can you label people in the past that weren't scientists, that didn't fit under the definition, but didn't know the, the meaning of the word? I think you can. Can you say a can or a toaster is a non-scientist? I'm pretty sure you can say that a toaster is a non-scientist. And that's not saying anything really bad. I'm not saying other non-scientists are fucking toasters. I'm saying that that's the definition applied. That's the definition we're applying. I'm not saying that's the definition you're applying. I'm saying the definition that we're applying is means the same thing. It's not a theist. Not a theist. And so it comes to reason, very obvious to us that define it that way, to call a baby an atheist, because the very term, they're not a theist. And if you can say that so certainly, then we can say just as certainly that they're atheist. Because to us, that's the definition. That's the very definition that we're using. And the scientific method that you want for why we define it, we've given. But you don't want why we're defining it. I think you want more of a should we define it as that? Should we define it as the way we define it? Or should we define it the way you define it? Is that where our differences lie? Are we lying in a difference of how we should define this word? Because that's a different subject. I've been arguing over this is how it's being defined. And I think, we're, I think you're arguing over how it should be defined. I'm not even saying how you define it. You can define it however you want. I, I would probably disagree sometimes. But that's not the point. The point is, is that even in your definition, we're both atheists. 
We both agree with the definition of atheism, but we disagree on the definition of atheist. I can, I can say for certainty that we, well, almost certainty, that we agree on the definition of atheism by your reaction to atheism. You don't seem to have any problem with the definition to atheism. I would say that, uh, you know, it's... But you don't have a problem with the definition of atheism. I don't have a problem with the definition of atheism. It's atheist part that I have a problem with, uh, that we have a difference. And I don't think either of us... Ha uh, I, I think that I, I can agree that you define it as you do, which I would say is more narrow, and I, I, of course I mean with less people, and not just less people, but it's a it's a more uh, defining definition. Like if I were to say a human atheist or something like that, which most of the time when, when people say atheist, they just mean humans because it's kind of nonsensical to, to label things that aren't uh, human atheists because it's it would be just as nonsensical to call my toaster a non-scientist. It's just nonsensical. What's the point? But it doesn't mean that it's not true. It's still a non-scientist. It's not a scientist. So, so my definition is different, but it's very, very clear. If it's not an atheist, or sorry, got it backwards. If it's not a theist, it's an atheist. If it's not an atheist, it's not not a theist, it's a theist. Does that make sense? Now we could still label people as as um, agnostic if you want to label them that, because we're agnostic to them. But if somebody calls themselves agnostic and says they don't believe in God, by my definition. Or better yet, if they say they're agnostic and say they're not theist, and they don't explicitly say they don't believe in God, if they say they're agnostic and they're not theist, by the very definition, they're atheist. Maybe they're defining theist different, but that's not the point. The point is that our definition of atheist is not Theist. So if you can say something is not theist, then I can say it's atheist because that's my definition. And we may disagree, and maybe our argument should be over whether one definition should be used over the other definition. Because obviously I'm not the only one that defines it like this. This isn't the first time it's come around. Bionic Dance isn't the only one that's made a video on it. There's other people that have agreed. In my life, and many people I've talked to in life have, that's exactly the definition. They argue with that definition. And in some ways, it's, it seems like you're taking the legs out of a lot of people because that is a very strong point they use when they're converting people. You're taking the legs right out from under some people. Is, is it still right that we define it like that and you define it like you do? I don't know. I'm not sure. But that's a different argument. Should it be defined as one way? Should it be defined as another? So is that is that our next argument? Whether one should be used, one definition over another? Because I hope that now you can see what our definition is, why we arrived to it, and how it's being applied. It's being applied in the very strictest sense. It's being very clear, very clear. Not a theist. If you can label anything as not a theist, it's an atheist. Now, the term theist, I think, might be not so clear sometimes. That might be a, a problem, but that doesn't make it any less clear what an atheist is to us. Okay?